Another facet of uh, things that I can do or sometimes do indulge in. A friend of mine had uh, given me the sari of hers and she said, I'm not wearing this sari. Can you do something out of it? So I said, yes, I can. And I said, I can make a dress out of it for you. So the earlier pictures that you saw are pictures of the sari. The sari is now converted into a dress with the motifs that are embroidered onto the sari, machine embroidered actually into the sari, I have ensured that they come on the neck and on the sleeves. I have also taken larger motifs which have been on the uh, sari's pallo or the border as part of the dress and I have used two of them on each leg of the shalwar I have used the patiala style of the shalwar so that it has enough space to take in the two long motifs. You can also use a different kind of a dupatta if you are really looking to wear something very grand. You can get a gold tissue colored dupatta or a shock pink dupatta to go with the dress. I will also show you what I have done with the basic applique that was on the pallo of the sari. I have used it at the back of the dress. On the rear side of the kurta you would see that there is a large motif which was a part of the pallo of the sari. It is coming here and there are no more motifs used in the kurta. So you have a large motif in the back, you have a few small motifs in the front and the long ones have been used for the patiala shalwar. This is just an experiment I have tried out with the dress. Uh, any one of you, my friends, anybody watching are free to come back to me and tell me, Ravi, can you design this for me? I have this sari, I have this dress. I am sure I will help you out with it or I will push the idea forward for you. I also have a tailor, Ravi Taylor from Ashoknagar who has done this for me. Thank you to Ravi for helping me out with it. Datu also thanks for getting all this in place. Bye-bye.